Hey guys, it's Lauren the Cheesy Bard back again with Undertale, and uh, we're here in Snowden Town, and I will uh, pick up from here. We just uh, finished all the puzzles we need to get here. You know what's cute? Those two married dogs always put presents under the tree for each other. It's always the same, a single bone, but every time, they act like it's the first time they've gotten it. Then Papyrus comes to take his bones back. Anyway, where are those two? I definitely didn't kill them. Santa presents. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I could tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. This is Grillby's, it's the bar. Can't really do much here. Usually all the dogs are here hanging out, but I killed them. Where are they? Something feels really off. Hmm. It just feels like everything is getting worse and worse. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be, why be morose about it? Morose about it. Morose. I don't know. I I know English words, but I just don't know how to pronounce them because I never use them in daily uh, conversation. This ice wolf. Huh, I guess it is random. Sometimes here, you'll get a uh, wrong number call. But I didn't this time. I did the first time I played. Library, you could find some information here about things uh, in the game, lore and stuff about monsters and how they turn to dust after they die. Because uh, their souls aren't strong enough to continue on after they're dead. Um, human souls can live after they die, but monster souls can't. It's empty. And this is Sans' mailbox, he just never checks his mail. It's locked. Okay, so, uh, let's go. Not excited for this. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another puzzle, another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh boy. I'm really not excited, because I am, I am going to kill him. <sighs> ah, I love Papyrus, sorry bro. So you're serious. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Wow. So difficult to dodge. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Behold! Papyrus is cackling. How high can you jump? I mean, pretty high.
Virus is rattling his bones. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. The pirates remembered a bad joke Sans told in his frowning. I don't think I've seen him uh, say that before. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Oh, man. I wanted to be really cool and not get hit at all, but oh well. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti or spaghetti or I don't know. Smells like bones. I don't know what bones smell like exactly. Undyne will be really proud of me. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Don't want to get boned. <laughs> the king will tr trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Behold, my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Look at the dog, his eyes are all big. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. <laughs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Ooh, it got hit. Cool. Dude. Bye, nerds. I'm out of here. Well, uh, it's clear you can't uh, defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Oh, his words are shaking. Therefore I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Uh... Sorry. Alas, poor papyrus. Well, at least I still have my head. I am sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Welp. That's just how it goes, I guess. This is an echo flower. Um, <laughs> it repeats anything that people say around it. So this guy next to it says, All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. So uh, if I had talked to him before I listened to that, it would repeat him explaining the flower to me. But now I know his secret, and I won't talk to him. 
Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> oh, of course, kid. We're friends. I don't need to put anything in the box, I don't think. Uh oh. I'm going to be turned into a kebab, probably. Nope, I'm fine. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That... was awesome! I'm so jealous! She was just standing there waiting forever, and then you just... Come on! Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! Sorry, kid. Right now I am the bad guy. Feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. These are bridge flowers. Connect four will make a bridge. I love you. Bye, Mom. Love you. The music here kind of scares me a little bit. Plus, the fact is pretty desolate in here. Aaron flexes in. Aaron, you scare me. Bye. Let's see. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. There's a lone key sitting underneath this bench. Can you take it? Yep, I'll take this quiche. And, uh... The bell resets the, uh, flowers to the original spot. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis. Make a wish. Oops. Washua. Frickin' Washua. Wash you soul! <laughs> I kind of I kind of love Washua. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look through the telescope. I'm sorry. Uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Because the stars never change, you get it? Ha ha ha. This is some backstory about the humans and monsters. I guess I should read it. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster. Just to equal the power of a single human soul. 
but humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Whee! Oh dear. Please don't hurt me. I'm just trying my best. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not really trying that hard. Oh. Leave me alone. I'm just a poor human. Oh dear. When I first saw this, I thought she had like ripped his eye socket out and killed him. <laughs> Did you see that? Undyne just... touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky? If you were staying just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Okay. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. It fills you with determination. Save. Telescope. Box. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Nope. Don't touch me. Let me see. Oh, it's an ice cream man. I don't need any more ice cream, thanks, so. though. I don't think I can go that way. I have to actually go through here. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. shoes. Oh man, being back here again. I played this two weeks ago. I completed it two weeks ago. Um, being back here again is really weird. Aaron. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Hmm. 
What are you, strange creature? It's an anime! Hey there! Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sun! Haha, <laughs> you get it, it's a weeboo joke. Onion Sun, you hear? You're visiting Waterfall, right? Huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey! That's okay! It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around to have a good time. In Waterfall! Thank you. Shiren. Hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. She's like avoiding me with her attacks. Her body stays behind though after her head is destroyed. The northern room hides a great treasure. I know the secret, but I can't remember exactly how to get there. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb its soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Hmm. Oh wait, no, I understand what to do. Hold on. Music box begins to play. Uh, let's see if I could remember. Yeah, never mind. Uh, I will pause for now and uh, take a break for a while. Uh, thanks, you guys, for joining me, and I'll see you again next time.